Our journey today takes us to the United Kingdom. That is right, and do I have a great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great London porter and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie, and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world, and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Now, what did I say in the, in the intro? I have London Porter here, a London Porter here, and this one is from Fuller's. They claim to be the only independent or family-owned brewery in England. So, I'm excited to be tasting they are their London Porter. And check it out, I have my trusty Nonic Pine here, which is the glass I recommend every time you're pouring yourself a nice porter. And if you want to look like a connoisseur, having the right glass for the beer that you are tasting is an important piece. So go ahead and open the description below and check out how you can get your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses. Now, lots of nice action coming from right under all that head of phone. Where do we always start, my friend? Appearance. And what have we learned about appearance? How do we describe appearance? With the three C's, right? Color, clarity, and carbonation, that is right. So color, this one is a nice, it's kind of reddish. Yes, I would call that very dark red color. Very, very clear, absolutely clear. And um, it does have a lot of action, you know, in, even though it's kind of slowing down, but I, I did see a lot of action as I was pouring it. And... It gave me a nice head, you know, when I poured it, it was almost all the way to the rim, but it's dissipating rather quickly. So, nice cream color head of foam, but not something that lasts too long. So, let's go for the aromas next, right? Nice chocolate aroma I'm picking up. And then, some kind of like vanilla almost like vanilla bean there. And now it's a little bit more on the bready, toasted, toasted oats, kind of. Yes, but the chocolate, it's remaining there. So it's very nice. I mean, I'm, I'm a fiend for chocolate, so. Very nice aromas there. Not what I was expecting from a London Porter, to be honest with you. But now I'm going to try it and let you know how my taste buds get along with this guy here. Well, bitter as in bittersweet coffee, bittersweet chocolate is what I'm talking about. So you get that first taste of it. It's like you're biting on a, on a very bitter um, chocolate bar, very dark roasted chocolate bar. Yes, that's the first thing you get when you first, you know, taste it. And then you get a little bit more of that, you know, creamy uh, vanilla, kind of like caramel coating the palate, but still with some nice tones of chocolate right under that palate. And then guess what? It's, it ends with that bittersweet chocolate, uh, kind of like smoky, even peppery kind of uh, earthy tone towards the end. So I like it. I like it a lot. And you know, that becomes important when we go to the next piece, which is the piece that you come to me for, 
a piece that makes you a connoisseur, the foot paints, right? Now, porters, as you know, they, they have robust flavors, so you want to pair them with foods that are that have enough punch you know, to stand up to the beer, otherwise your beer is going to completely overpower the food. So in this case, um, you know, we're always looking for like the grilled meats, the, uh, the roasted meats, things of that flavor, something maybe with some even spice or some nice seasoning. So because it, I also mentioned it has some of the, the bready character also, some of that um, you know, oaty character, also things that have flour, maybe are good to pair with this beer. So I'm gonna start with a steak pie. Yes, you know, like a, you know, shepherd's pie, but with, you know, with steak, yes, yes. A nice steak pie will be a great, um, great pairing here. And the next one is char grilled steaks. Make sure that they have the nice caramelized stripes, you know, from the grill or from your griddle. Yes, that's going, that's what you're looking for. That caramelized kind of like char, it has that bitter sweet characteristic, just like the beer. Yes, you're going to pair, it's going to pair really, really well with this beer. And I'm going to recommend a nice hearty beef stew. And actually, if you want to go one further, you can make that a venison stew. Yes, a little bit gamey, you know, uh, meat like venison, but in a stew with a lot of like potatoes and, uh, you know, a nice rich creamy tomato sauce. Yes, that's going to go great. Now, as far as cheese, I have here a smoke gruyere that I think is going to be a very nice pairing because the beer ha does that have that kind of like smoky back end to it. So I'll, I'm going to taste it and I'll let you know how that goes. I got this passion and it's burning deep inside of me. And this time, no, no, not gonna... I think this is a winning, com a winning pairing here almost takes the bitterness bite from the beer. That smoky character, there's still a hint of it, but not as big as when I tasted it without eating the cheese first. And by the way, I made sure that that cheese, which is a very creamy cheese, I made sure that that was like completely coating my tongue there, my palate, and the beer did a great job cleansing that palate, so I'm ready for my next bite of cheese. So a very nice pairing. Like I said, I like how the beer kind of brought out some of the, you know, smoky flavor in the cheese, but also it, the cheese kind of helped take away some of that smoky, peppery part of the beer. So those are the combinations that I always like to look for, see how the food interacts with each other. So I think that was a great, great pairing right there. So go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think. Now, you know, I always leave you my recommendation as far as the dessert pairing and porters are great beers to pair with dessert. So go ahead and open the description below and check out what my recommendation is for you today. Now that concludes today's lesson, but not before I ask you, have you had Fuller's London Porter before? What are your thoughts? Have you paired with anything? Have you drank it solo? Let me know, let me know in the comments below. I love to interact with you. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs. And I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video. And until then, enjoy. Yeah.